Did you know you're making the wrong decisions most of the time in life? And the reason why you're doing the wrong decisions is because you're being manipulated by the karma, by the psychoenergetic field that you were born with. And what happens is that you're kind of like in an emotional prison. It's actually pretty claustrophobic, you just don't realize it. And the way to solve this is if you spend 50% of your daily routine, seven days a week, doing yoga and after yoga you sit in silence marinating as the self marinating as the self like Muji or Eckhart Tolle explains it's basically realizing you are not only that which cannot be named that which has no form that which has no quality that which cannot be touched but from which everything is perceived thereby you recognize the unbeingness of it and by extension you re realize the karmic footprint of your body and as you realize the karmic footprint of your body there becomes kind of like a desire a spiritual desire to drop off all that baggage the psychoenergetic baggage that you've been with the karmic vasanas psychoenergetic field traumas and unless you do that and go this route you are going to be in a kind of like carousel of wrong choices and you're going to keep doing the same choices over and over again so the only way to get out of it is if you concentrate most of your waking time in recognizing this now I have a couple of techniques which I'm going to share with you which aid in the release of these energies and one of them naturally are mantras, bija mantras like lam bam ram yam hum om mang those are fairly common everybody knows those and there's mantras like om Uh, then you have tapping but not the EFT type tapping but you pick a spot where you feel there's energy unresolved and you keep on tapping there maybe even for hours until the energy opens up and then the nadis the energy channels they start to work like elevators in which the energy kind of like attaches to and goes up towards your eyes and wants to be cried out so you let out all of these emotions through the psychoenergetic field through the tears and you disidentify with the story by resting and abiding in the self and then there's nutty breathing nutty breathing is basically you pick two spots on your body where you feel there's something still stuck energetic and you breathe back and forth visualizing an energy channel between those spots it's also how you release energy uh, and all psychoenergetic energy and fields then um, there's a little bit of noise in the background because it's Sunday and it's usually I'm a van liver so I'm always traveling and for me the worst are the weekends because there's so many people always coming with their noise from the cities and bringing it into nature it's kind of awkward to observe that instead of instead of coming into nature and enjoying nature they're actually bringing the noise into nature it's really weird
it's also karmic noise and I'm gonna explain it. You know, noise is not healthy for anyone. Actually, it was determined even, um, I think there was a, there was a study for it which showed that noise and these kind of noises and mechanical noises, they actually make people sick and, but people, but people do what they, what I would call self-hating. Just wait until they're gone. Uh, you can either choose a harmonious state for yourself or you can choose a disharmonious state for yourself. And the one is self-love and the other is self-hate, respectfully. And a lot of people do out of cultural conditioning, out of beliefs, out of... They do actually stuff that is bad for them, uh, even though they think it's good for them. A lot of... It could be just even like certain type of sports, even this kind of like motorbiking. On an essential psychoenergetic level, it's actually not healthy for them. So while they're not recognizing, they're actually practicing self-hate because it's not harmonious for the human state. What is super harmonious for the human state or for the for any animal basically is resting kind of like in the feminine energy of nature in quiet. And anything that disrupts that is actually kind of like the body's fighting actually with yourself. A good example is also music. A lot of people think music is good for them when in reality the vibration of music is actually disharmonious and it's actually a part of self-hate but it's it can be addicting because it triggers like um the kind of effects you know um food or sexuality also creates in the body so awakening to these kind of sub subtilities of life and uh, recognizing what is actually harmonious for yourself and what is not is actually to the key and then once you practice self-love and you distance yourself from people who don't practice it because they influence basically your um you're wasting time with them because it's it's like this you're incarnated on this planet to solve your own soul problems you could say to evolve in your soul and when you are dealing with others, they're actually dragging you into their problems, their soul problems, and you're wasting time. You should use that time for your own spiritual soul growth. And a lot of people, for example, uh, Elon Musk just said, you know, if society is very affluent, they usually tend to have a population collapse and because they don't have children and the reason is because children oftentimes are conceived out of existential fear are uh, you kind of like it's in the root chakra you are kind of like fearful of what happens if you don't have children uh it's kind of like uh it's very very, very unconscious people don't realize it and the more subtle you go the more you realize it even Eckhart Tolle said when we become su when we become super conscious we stop procreating and that's uh, very interesting, you know, th seeing it from different angles and ask yourself, you know, questions like question everything and everyone and even your own thoughts. And so you basically by spending 50% of your time releasing karmic energies, you're actually becoming free of those kind of like karmic carousels in which you're doing constantly the same decisions, getting the same results. And, and wasting your time in this incarnation. And that's one of the funniest things kind of like is you have this gift of incarnation and you're completely wasting it because you're unconscious of what's really going on. So you're kind of like busy with entertainment, sex, people, the city, noises, music, not realizing that you're completely wasting your time. And but it needs a very high vibration to recognize this and so i'm making this video for some souls that are like hey i always wanted to you know i knew that there was something else i just didn't know what it was so and people people do there are people who do feel this intuitively 
they know that they're wasting their time they're like feeling but that they don't they don't have any escape from it it's like you're in the bubble of the matrix you're being fed all this stuff and you don't know that you can just unplug and uh and the intuitive yoga is super important because everybody individually has like different karmic uh, and psychoenergetic fields so while somebody else you know has no trouble with an open heart chakra somebody else might have a problem you know with root chakra for it's other people it might be completely different and you can go through life ignoring it but um, you always have a sense of kind of like avoiding something 